Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Rader, and I am the VCS for Participation in Government. I'm also a Participation in Government teacher, like all of you watching this video today. Uh, this is the first of two videos that review the performance task on podcasting for grade 12, unit one, uh, Participation in Government. And my goal in the first video is to provide a succinct overview of the summative assessment and to go over some of the tools that you can use to support your students as they work through the unit of study itself and as they finalize the unit and demonstrate to you in their own way, their understanding of the unit concepts. So the actual summative task is embedded in the grade 12 unit one day by day and PBL plan. And the performance task itself could be pasted into a document for students that we provide a description, some directions that students should keep in mind that they will be creating and publishing a podcast that explores some topic related to rights and responsibilities, citizenship, the essential question for the unit and or a concept of being an American for their audience. And they'll base this on four different resources that they will uh, compile over the course of time. And in the podcast, their, their pitch should be around 200 words or less. It should be in an engaging conversational tone uh, with their classmates. And it really should ideally be at least uh, three minutes long with an additional one and a half minutes per peer um, partner. So the mini units on page two are very, very useful to help you to contextualize the completion of the performance task over the course of the 24 days in the unit itself. And we really do advise teachers to use uh, your best discretion to determine which of the podcasting skill specific lessons, which we'll see in, in part two, uh, extensions A through F make the most sense to actually teach. But I, I would wanna just take a moment to highlight the components of the PBL in each of the three mini units in this unit of study, because they're very, very useful for you to see where, where would be most relevant for you to introduce these components into your teaching. So looking at the podcasting formats materials, uh, you should present this document to your students as a way for them to be able to have some choice in how they're going to be assessed uh, at the end of the unit of study. And there are several examples that are hyperlinked into this document, including one of my favorite economics podcasts, uh, Planet Money from NPR. And depending on the student's interest, you can guide them to choosing a format, whether it be an interview, storytelling, conversational, panel or monologue. And it provides the students uh, different entry points so that they can create and produce their own podcasts. Now, the next thing I'd like to show you in this video is where we can find all the materials within our New York City Department of Education Google Drives. So within Teach Hub, right, if we go into our Teach Hub account, we can go into the high school tab and we can access the Passport to Social Studies curriculum, which would then bring us to our Google Drive. First thing that you'll see is the day-by-day -day plan and the project-based learning extension, along with the three mini units that we discussed before. So in order for your students to be able to compile sources, they will need to have some exposure to basic research and how to use the annotated bibliography tool, which we can find in day 24. So if you click on mini unit C, rights and responsibilities, and we go to day 24, among other resources we are, we are given uh, by the curriculum team, the annotated bibliography tool. So if we open up that document, your students can use this tool to help them find the four, the four sources that they will need in order to create their podcast. And then they'll complete the five steps on these two pages to create their annotated bibliography where they really think about the sources that they're using and how the sources can help them in the creation of their podcast. And before I, before I do end this video, I also want to open up this document. It's very useful for students to be able to see as they begin finding sources for 
their own research, the four moves and one habit flowchart as a very easy tool that they can use to look up information online that they could then use for their podcasts. All right, everybody. So I'm going to end the video at this point. Stay tuned for our next installment where we'll really break down the podcasting project and go over some of the resources that students can use, including a GarageBand app if they're using an iPhone, a Flipgrid, and the Audacity app. All right, everybody, take care.